Okay, so um, we've been talking about Platonism and Plato a little bit, but let me explain who Plato is and uh, who the ancient Greeks are. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, Plato was the student of Socrates, and uh, the order, the, the sort of trinity here is Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. Socrates was a um, really the first philosopher in a, really, in a real sense. Uh, I mean, he's the biggest figure in philosophy. He never wrote anything down. Um, he, he was executed by Athens for um, corrupting the youth and um, uh, teaching false gods. He was actually killed for blasphemy then. Uh, and Socrates is a very interesting figure, and Plato was so moved by him. Plato was this um, playwright uh, and poet, and uh, uh, after he met Socrates, he burned all his art and started philosophizing. And uh, Plato opened a school uh, called the Academy, where we get the word academic from. Uh, and academics and academia and then Plato had a great student at that school named Aristotle and Aristotle after Plato died opened up a school called the Lyceum so Socrates Plato Aristotle these are the three heavy hitters in uh, Greek philosophy and Western philosophy really and are responsible for so much uh, in our understanding of the world and, and the way we think today particularly science and all these uh, mathematics and all these other things and philosophy uh, and a lot had a lot to do with Western culture Socrates was uh, 69 years old when he died uh, he died in 399 BC. It's very easy to remember that. You don't have to remember that. Uh, he was executed for, as I said, corrupting youth of Athens and worshiping false gods. He was killed, Socrates, by uh, an angry mob, really. And he was uh, falsely accused. And so uh, there's a very strange relationship that Plato has uh, with democracy, really, because he recognized that people, when they get together in mobs, they can do very crazy things. Um, and... Uh, uh, so it's interesting that the philosopher, uh, in terms of Socrates and the way Plato presents him, and by the way, Plato wrote dialogues, and the major character in the dialogues is Socrates, okay? So Socrates didn't write anything down. The only thing we know about Socrates is through Plato, really. There are some other people who wrote, uh, wrote about um, Socrates as well. But for Plato, Socrates is always like this, uh, this figure, you know, in, in the New Testament, in the Gospels, uh, Jesus is the Son of God, or the Word of God that comes down in flesh. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, it says in uh, John 1, uh, 14. Well, for Plato, and this is 399 BC, so this is before Christ, uh, it's as if philosophy came down and walked around in the figure of Socrates. So you never quite know how historical uh, what Plato is writing about Socrates is, uh, because he's a character in a dialogue, and a dialogue is a kind of dramatic uh, form of philosophical argument. So Socrates will meet somebody and have an argument with them about justice or have an argument with them about piety or whatever. And these are, Plato wrote many dialogues and the, the, the uh, character, major figure is usually Socrates having some dialogue. Uh, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, but uh, Socrates, well, I'll stop the video there and then I'll, I'll continue in the next one.